In today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, I'm going to show you how to stop throwing so many interceptions in mutt against acrobat corners when you throw curl routes. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you've never been to my channel before, my channel does Madden 21 tips and tricks. We do about four of these every single day. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're looking to get better at Madden, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so uh, pretty, pretty straightforward uh, video, but I think a very useful one. We're going to talk a little bit about today. How do you throw curl routes so that you don't throw interceptions? Um, I have been facing a lot of mutt teams that are playing with either one step ahead or acrobat or some of those different abilities on the corners. And when I try to low ball or try to hit these curl routes, sometimes um, they're intercepted. So I want to show you two different versions. I'm going to show you uh, one with Scotty Miller, uh, a no-name uh, um, wide receiver going up against an acrobat corner. And then I'm going to show you Mike Evans going up against a corner. We're going to show you just two. And these are basic curl routes. These are literally just hot routable, um, very, very standard curl routes. And we're going to show, first and foremost, our coaching adjustments real quickly. Uh, we're going to set our curl flats to 25 yards. We're going to set our flats to 5 yards. And then we're going to put our hooks at 5. Um, and then from this, we'll just go man line defense, ball in air defense to play ball. Um, and we'll do that. Okay? And then we'll, we'll, we'll throw auto flip on just for good measure. So this is the optimal man-to-man -man coverage. And it comes to us from the dime 146. So you see Stephon Gilmore's on the right. And then we've got, uh, I'm going to put Jonathan Jones on the left because I think he's a little bit better than J.C. Jackson. And then we're just going to run the cover two man press coverage. All right, so right here what you're going to see is um, when I throw Mike Evans on a curl route, and I run just a simple curl to flat concept on the left side of the field, he is going to be able to beat his man if I low ball and pass it to the inside. So I'm a low ball and pass it to the inside. But you see how the corner comes over the ball. Now, if they have acrobat, that means that they're going to come over the ball. And occasionally, um, it's kind of almost a dice roll, but they will 50-50 uh, pick it. And you don't want 50-50 picks on your field. So the question is, how do you complete it so that they so that you can shield the ball from them from being able to do just that? Well, we're going to show you. So first things first, um, we're just going to run a simple route combination here to the right, and I want to show you what happens. So um, this is just simply curl flats to the right, and we're just going to run the corner, other receivers off here. And what you'll see is Stephon Gilmore, if I throw this, um, you see how his acrobat allows him to basically break up the pass. It allows him to... Um, defend the pass in fact and what most people will do when they try to low ball is they'll low ball and they're going to possession catch it but as you can see when you possession catch it and there was able to complete it again it's that 50 50 element of the game now one thing i'm going to do is i'm going to shade coverage to the inside and shade coverage underneath and you're going to see that this is probably the better way to defend curls um, of any of the shadings that they can do and you'll see right here um, there you see he's able to break it up he's able to get into it so what you're going to do to basically, you know, stop this issue is you're going to click onto the receiver and you're basically going to bring him back to the ball and you're going to aggressive catch it. Uh, aggressive catching curl routes is going to allow you to shield it so that you're, you're basically going to be using your body um, and get that body position on him. Now, this should be pretty much foolproof. Um, against the man-to-man -man coverage, even if they are, even if they are doing some shading and things like that, um, what you'll see right here, click on and aggressive, and you see I'm able to just hold, I'm able to hold him off um, of the ball. Now you can you can low ball this, you can experiment a little bit with this. Um, you can low ball this, you can you could not low ball it and see how that goes. In general, I think what you need to do with this is pass lead to the inside, click on, and go go aggressive catch it as you can see right there it's shielding him off the ball so that he can't really um the corner can't really get to the ball and um that's why this route combination is so effective uh, and we see it all over the place right now it's actually even better to a tight end if you th let me show you really quickly so if i take gronk and i put him on a curl route something like this right here just a simple curl route we're going to clear everything else out snap of the ball and what you're going to see is i can low ball and aggressive catch it and the corner can't get in front of me um the corner cannot get in front of me that's what 
that's what is also really, uh, in my opinion, very effective. So we'll shade inside and we'll shade underneath once again. And what you'll see here, and we'll just throw a simple curl route. This is a very simple play, but it's also very, very effective. But what you'll see here is click on, aggressive catch it, and the corner is not going to jump down on it. Now, most of the time, they're going to use for the middle of the field, so they're going to cover that. They're going to hang with that. But what you're going to be able to do is on both sides of the field, basically, you know, if they mabel, if they don't mabel coverage um, you on both sides of the field, this is going to be effective. And even if they do, um, it's still going to be effective. So I'll show you what, I, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to drop my corner on the right into a purple zone. And we'll show you the play here. And the reason this is important is because this is something that's hot rodable. This is something that you can use on every single play that you call. And it's something that you can use as a check down. If you can figure out how to master curl routes, this is a very pivotal um, route to master in my opinion. But anyway, low ball, click on an aggressive catch. Now sometimes the ball, I don't know why, but for whatever reason in this year's game, um, they've decided that randomly you'll just your wide receiver will just not react to the ball. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. So we'll show you here man coverage. We got the two purples, and what you're gonna see is this flat route. This flat route to the back should pull that curl flat defender out of the way. And click on, and you see see how he gets the diving animation when you aggressive. And when you aggressive catch it, most people don't like to aggressive catch it because they're afraid, at least I don't, I don't personally oftentimes like to aggressive catch things because I'm afraid I'm going to get catch tackled. You're not going to get catch tackled with this, and that's what I think makes it so effective. Um, it just allows you a really solid animation. Uh, there was a Madden, I think it might have been Madden 12, uh, where curl routes were so good. You see there, like, he just dropped the ball, but that's more of the mechanics of the game. It has nothing to do with the fact that you did anything wrong. It has everything to do with sometimes the game will literally just make it so that you can't catch the ball. Um, now we're going to shade just standard underneath, and I want to show you what that looks like. We'll go through all the shadings too just to kind of show you. Um, and this is what the best corner, in my opinion, in the game, which is uh, which is um, Stephon Gilmore. You know, if they ran a bench press on that, that might have a little bit more of an effect on it. And I'll do some testing on that and let you know if anything changes on this. But that was shade inside. Now we'll shade outside and over top. And we'll just show you this shade. Now this shade is the most common shade. And this is the shade that me that you should really be able to just dominate. Uh, shading outside and over top is going to put the corner in a very poor position to be able to defend this. All right. Now let me show you shading inside and over top. And we'll show you that. Show you all the different combinations of shading that you can do. We'll set up our curl flat concept and this is inside and here you see he is able to get um, in a little bit better of a position now shading inside and over top I think is going to become very popular um, I think it does a good job against a lot of different routes that you're going to be able to be facing but what you'll see is you should still have a window that you can hit this on I think I just threw it a little bit too late so click on and there there's the aggressive catch that I'm talking about the really important thing that you need to do when you click on the receiver, you need to like literally drag him back toward the ball. Don't allow the don't allow him to stand there. When you allow him to stand there, that's when you're going to get intercepted. All right, as I have been throwing curl routes like all season long, and I have thrown enough interceptions to know that when I don't bring him back to the ball, it's a pick. If I don't bring the wide receiver back to the ball, it's a pick. If I don't at least try, sometimes he won't actually go. Um, whoops, uh, sometimes he won't actually go, but I need to try. Okay. Um, so we'll show you this real quick again. And now what we're going to do, so that's, we'll show shading. Um, let's, let me show you shading, uh, da, 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 inside and over top one more time, just to show you, um, it's a little bit harder to bring him back to the ball on this shade technique, but if you can bring him back, even if he moves just an inch, that inch is going to be huge. Um, that inch is going to be huge, and when when you know when you're when you're running this again, your pass lead, in my opinion, um, it should be at you know either down completely down or completely to the inside. I actually like completely to the inside better than down um, at like nine o'clock or like seven o'clock. But there you see he's able to get the separation that we're looking at, especially if they're over top. Um, 
it's just it's just gonna it's going to be consistent um, you want to practice this before you run this in a game I'm just telling you because if you try to go run this in a game you're gonna what's gonna happen is you're gonna get clicked onto the corner or the, the wide receiver I'm sorry and you're not gonna be able to drag him back you have to drag him back if you can't drag him back that's gonna be and there is a little bit of it's almost like there's two windows to throw the curl. The, the first window is when he starts, when he's st standard up, like he just curls up. The second window is just wait a second, just wait a second. And once he's stationary, I'll show you here, throw it, and then you see that's that's where the issue can come in. When you miss timing with this, or when you're not able, like right there, I, I couldn't, for whatever reason, um, I did not do a good job of dragging him back. And you saw it ended up coming back to bite me, and the acrobat was able to trigger, and the corner was able to make the play on the ball. But wait, throw it, and then bring him back, as you can see. If you can get him to come back to the ball, that to me is the key um, to throwing these curl routes consistently. And then we'll show you one other type of, kit, um, of shade that they're going to do, and that is to shade outside and underneath um, to basically... Make the man coverage play corner routes and out routes better, but this should be uh, money for you. Let's see. Click on. Yep. Inside, inside window. So the best, the best shade that they can do against it, um, in my opinion, is to shade inside, and or I'm sorry, to shade inside and to shade over top. And what you'll see here, see how he's a step on the inside of him. And this is what's going to be the hardest one to, the hardest one to you know really um, beat. But again, and when you see that's where it's a low ball and you want to really, you know, in, in those situations, I would suggest throwing him, throwing him straight up like at six o'clock on the joystick, get it, get it down. Because again, your job as the, as the wide receiver is just to get him to come back just a few steps. And if you can get him to come back just a few steps, you're going to find a lot of success with these curls. Um, click on. And that's where I'm looking at right there when you can get him. And again, part of this is really understanding how to click onto a receiver especially on the curl routes you do that by hitting circle and then what i'm going to do is once it's registered that i'm on the receiver so i'm going to wait a second and then i'm going to come but basically i'm going to click onto the receiver and i'm going to come back to the open space of the ball and if you can get good at that these curls are going to be borderline unstoppable for you and they're going to make a lot they're going to make you a lot of money in madden i'm just telling you right now uh, curl routes are, in my opinion, the best route in Madden 21 uh, between between hitches and curls. Uh, I just think they uh, are the best stock hot route. But as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble right now uh, with it. And again, if he gets that inside position, I would say you can inside pass lead it all day. But if they're if they're running something like you know any kind of over top coverage, whether it be inside and over top or outside and over top, you should be able to literally just bring him back to the ball just like that right there if they press coverage and that's where you just have to understand a little bit of the different techniques that they're going to be able to do on the defensive side to be able to stop something like this but if they press coverage and they shade inside that's where you're going to want to you know he's going to get in a trail technique so you should get that inside position that's where you're throwing it to the inside click on and you see i can aggressive catch it and cut it off so anyways guys that's your guide to curl routes i mean there's so much that I have left to teach you about curl routes, but curl routes are just very, very powerful uh, in this year's game, in my opinion. Uh, let me show you a quick Mabel coverage that you might see. This is like Tampa 2, um, and what you'll see is this is basically, as long as McCourty, McCourty's vert hook, I think he's shaded. He might be shaded at five yards. Um, what I have found is when people have, like look at all the resources that they're employing. They're going to Mabel a coverage. They're going to do all of these things to stop it now. And what you'll see here is we should be able to, I mean, not only are we going to have other things open, but you're still going to be able to hit that curl route, even against Mabel coverage because of the way the uh, running back will basically pull the flat zones away from him. And what you'll see here, let me show you Tampa two and we'll show you just straight up Mabel coverage real quick. But they're going to take the flat. And you're going to be able to low ball and possession catch that. So that is why I think curls are so good. They really get in tender spots of the defense. Um, and if you can learn how to throw them to your slot receivers on hitches 
or you know, you know, any of that stuff, you'll be finding a ton, a ton of success uh, with these low ball curls. As you can see, that aggressive catch really is important. Um, it's going to help make these very, very consistent for you and make them very, very good yard gainers for you. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. If you like in-depth videos like this, we have a ton of them in my text message membership. All you have to do is shoot me a text. Let me know you want to receive those videos. I think we have four uh four videos right now over three and a half hours worth of breakdowns one is a trip side end defense one's a big nickel over g defense um, as well as some others so if you want to pick that up all you got to do is just text me those are completely free and then if you want to pick up my full ebook uh, i have an arizona cardinals offense slash 46 defense of ebook in the description it goes over nickel 55 nickel 55 wide uh, nickel normal uh, run defense, big nickel over G with some of the updates. It's got um, 46 and 3-4 bear in it. Um, over 125 pages of material in that guide. So uh, I would highly, highly encourage you to uh, check that out if you haven't already. You can pick that up in the description of this video. And last but not least, guys, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, I'd highly encourage you to do that. We've got a couple more videos coming for you today, so be on the lookout on the channel. Uh, we upload four videos every single day on YouTube. Um, for 100% free. So uh, be sure to check all those videos out. We got a couple more coming. If you haven't, if you've missed one, um, check out these videos on the screen. And I'm sure that one of them will be able to help you with something related to Madden 21. Thank you so much for your time.